believers. We walk by faith. We walk in unconditional love towards everyone else because God is unconditional. God doesn't need anything else or anyone else, so we rely on His unconditional love towards us and we operate in that love towards others. Just realize not everyone operates in love. Some people operate in filthy darkness. Yes, filthy darkness. They are self-destructive and you want to spread their misery of self-destruction on heaven and earth. And such people, when you refuse to allow them to blackmail you into their misery, they turn on you. So what do you do with such people? Are you going to fight back against them? Uh, that's going to trap you into fighting them. If you ignore them and keep on walking away, eventually you end up having to walk away all the time. And you'll be sabotaging you'll be sabotaging yourself. So what do you do? You don't fight the evil, nor do you um empathy tolerate the evil at your own expense, you shut down the evil. You do that by overruling and by passing the evil. That's what we are to do as believers. Okay? Look, when Christ entered the temple and he saw that the religious leaders were, were exploiting the poor people, what did they do? They just say, well, they have a free will, and those uh, people that are exploited, well, they should know better, or they should... No, 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 Christ did not blame the victim, neither did he endorse, nor tolerate, nor excuse the exploitation by the religious leaders. What did he do? He destroyed their property, he overthrew tables, and he used a whip to whip them out of the temple. What Christ did was writing. Christ was writing on his own. There were Roman, so Roman soldiers around and guards. We could have been arrested. He did it anyway. And he couldn't arrest them because he was powerful. Am I saying you have to go out there and write in the markers of that? No, I'm not telling you to do that. But just like, like Christ write it in the spirit and he did manifest it in the natural, we should do that also from time to time. That's why I'm enforcing fierce repercussions. I call them energy missiles on the enemy's camp. And I do it on your behalf too. That's not being hateful. That's not uh, contradicting God's word. That's being practical. We walk in love towards everyone else, but not in love with everyone. And people that are determined to self-destruction, they have to be contained. And they have to be uh, restrained so that their harm does not harm everyone. Because if you endlessly tolerate them, you will have everyone miserable. So, again, don't hate such people, don't wish harm on them, so don't repay evil with evil, but don't spread your legs, let them ruin you either. Shut the operation down. So the missiles will keep on coming, brothers and sisters, it will keep on coming on them. I'll keep on doing it every day till Christ returns. That's it for now. Be at peace.